Hello cat people, how are you today? I am Cat Lady Antigone and today I'm doing one brand makeup tutorial by using only Essence products. I'm gonna start today's makeup quite differently because usually I start by applying some eyeshadow base but today I'm actually gonna go with this. This is the Camouflage Plus, the concealer from Essence and to be honest I forgot, I totally forgot to buy an eyeshadow base but I think that concealer will be equally nice we will see if it is not nice I will not blame the palette and actually for today's video oops <laughs> I will both try new products from Essence and also I'm gonna use some products that I have already tried and I have formed an opinion oh this looks nice but actually I'm planning to use a brush as well because that's what I'm doing with my normal eyeshadow base and you know I would like to be as famous as possible so I think that we are fine with the eyeshadow base and I'm moving on to the palette today I'm planning to use the palette ice ice baby it's the first time that I'm using it it's gonna be first impressions for this palette and I'm planning to start my makeup with this gray right here I'm gonna take a fairly wide brush like this one this is from Essence the blender brush let's see actually the latest palette that I have used from Essence, the Dumbo one, left me with very negative impressions and I'm so afraid what's gonna happen with today's palette, but I will not start negatively this review, definitely not. Oh, the grey is looking quite good on my eyelid. I like it, I like it very much, I would say. And I'm moving on with this shadow right here. Unfortunately, the shadows do not have a name. So the best thing that I can do here for you is just showing you with my fingers the eyeshadows, but they are just six. So I don't think that's gonna be a big confusion or anything. Hmm. It's applying quite well. Also, let's see the blending. Oh, I'm happy. I think I'm happy with this. I am ready to move on to the next color. So I'm gonna take this, which is a darker blue, basically the darkest color of the palette, and I'm gonna apply it here at the corner. And while I'm doing this, let me share some first impressions with you. Ooh, it's nice. So it's not the best quality that I've ever tried in my life. Definitely, it's way better than the other palette that I had. Uh, what was the name? Dumbo. Dumbo. Dumbo was like awful. I hated it with passion, with a lot of passion. But this palette is quite nice. It is a little bit patchy. So yes, I need to work a little bit extra to have this um, color that I want without patches, which is nicely blend and all these good things that we all need from our makeups. But all in all, for its price, I think it's quite a good palette. Not the best again, but nice and affordable and it offers some blue eyeshadows, which I really, really love. So if you're afraid of blue, but you still wanna try it a little bit, I totally recommend you to start with this palette to try out if you like it, if you feel that you can work with it. And if yes, go to something more expensive and more high quality, in my opinion. Yes, to be completely honest with you, I didn't really like the dark blue on my eyelid. First of all, it's patchy, it's very patchy. And if I compare it with the other blue, this one right here, I don't think that it is equally pigmented, so... I don't know, I don't know, like I'm not impressed, definitely I'm not impressed with the palette, now we are counting, you know, the fails and the good colors. Anyway, I'm moving on, I'm gonna try this metallic right here, I'm thinking basically to try to create a silver eyeliner with this metallic, but I want to be fair with it, okay? So first step is to apply the Fix Potion in order to create a very trustable base, and then after I apply this I will go back to the palette with a sharp brush and I will apply this as an eyeliner and this is the look with the eyeliner I wouldn't say that I'm mega impressed with the palette but again it's working the metallic is fine it's not amazing it's not the best metallic out there like 
Have you tried gloss coats? Have you tried love lace? This is the good stuff. Anyway, I'm going on to the mascara, so I'm gonna use a combination. First of all, I'm gonna start with a primer. This is the Lush Primer Volume Booster, of course, from Essence. And then I'm continue with this one. This, this one is white and this one is black. This is called Volume Hero Mascara. It was the favorite product of June, if I'm not mistaken. As I have told you, I've been trying trying a lot of products from Essence for months in order to have an opinion. And yes, the palette is not the highlight of the video, obviously, because we are doing a full face of Essence. So to me, it wasn't that important to have a shaped opinion about this. But when it comes to complexion products, foundations, concealers, stuff like that, I would like to be able to tell you like, this is the good stuff while this is not. So now when it comes to mascaras, I love this primer. It's the second or third time that I'm buying it again. It's a very nice primer. And I mean, can you see? the difference on my lashes. The only kind of issue I would say is that sometimes it's kind of difficult to be covered with a black mascara and that's why I have some white lashes and this can be kind of annoying sometimes but it's not that big of an issue. So this is the first layer. I'm not gonna apply a second one because I don't want that spider effect on my lashes like I hate. And now I'm moving on to the Volume Hero, the black one. And now you probably will see what I mean by saying that I have some white lashes. But with this specific one, I have better coverage in general. Well, I was so excited to move on to the mascara step that I completely forgot to do the bottom part of my eyes. And normally I would have done this step off camera, but I really want to show you something. So I have bought this eye pencil, which is vegan as well, very good. This is called the Kajal Pencil Eyeliner in the shade 15 behind the scenes. It's a very nice gray. I've never tried it before, but I think that I didn't have a gray in my collection. So with this one, I think that my collection is more full now. And really, I'm so, so curious to see what we are dealing with. Okay, give me a second here. Well, where is the eye pencil? Oh, come on. Yes, yes, please. Yes. I don't like it for my eye. Oh, it's not there. Oh, look at my waterline here and look at my waterline here. Can you see any difference? Oh, that's so unfortunate. Oh, well, my verdict about this eye pencil was like after I used it for a while, it became slightly better, but all in all, I'm not sure if I call it a good eye pencil. Like, let's be fair, I paid something like 1 euro 30 cents for this one, so of course I don't have very high expectations, but on the other hand, it's an eye pencil. Like, it should be functioning as an eye pencil. Anyway, let's forget about it, let's move on. I'm continuing my bottom part here by using again this darker shade and I'm gonna blend it in this one and finish with the gray. Okay, at this point I can officially say that I have finished with my eye look and I'm ready to move on to my base. So, first of all, as a primer, I'm planning to use Fix and Last Jelly Primer. As you can see, like, I have loved this primer a lot and I love it that much because it leaves my skin matte and I love this. Like, my skin is super oily. If you didn't know this about me, this probably means that you're new here, so welcome, hello, my name is Antigoni, I love doing makeup, I love trying new brands, older brands, especially indie brands, Essence is not an indie brand, but if you want, you can check out my older videos, and here you can find a lot of indie brands. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe, and if you think that all my looks will be as simple as that, this is definitely not the case. So again, I would suggest you to have a look at my older videos to see basically what I enjoy doing in this channel. 
I know that this base needs some minutes to dry so while I'm waiting I'm planning to finish with my eyebrows I have a new product like it's the first time I'm using it it's the lash and brow gel mascara style and comb let's see it's clear as you can see I've never used a clear mascara for my lashes never I have no idea what is it doing Whoa, I think it's quite nice, but I'm not sure yet. I'm gonna update you at the end of the video. Okay, I feel that we are pretty ready to use the foundation for today. So if you can see, my foundation is here right now. I love this foundation. It's the Pretty Natural Hydrating Foundation. Allow me to disagree with the hydrating because it's not hydrating definitely but I love it for this matte effect that it has on my face at this point I would like to tell you that a lot of the products that you see today are a gift from my friend Aphrodite she actually bought a box full of essence products and she sent it here in Sweden for my birthday it was so so sweet of her because I was keep telling her like I need to do a full face of essence I need to do it I need to do it but you know I never was that intrigued by their product in order you know to do a big haul of essence products but then she said, okay, you have your birthday, so take this box and do this video. <laughs> so the palette is actually her choice and I love the blue choice that she did for me. I love the foundation color because this is so nice on my skin, as you can see here. I mean, I myself cannot match foundations to my skin color as perfectly as she did. So to me this is quite impressive as a foundation, which is great. And the concealer and the lip color that you will see is also hair choice. So yeah, judge this as well. 